At first, a day we've dreaded for weeks. Yeah, yeah. The first paycheck of the new year represented a hefty pay cut. And that's because the Social Security payroll tax break is officially over. And that means Uncle Sam is taking even more of your paycheck tonight. Consumer reporter John Matteris is here now to show us how tri-state workers are reacting to that change. John? Well, Carol, we knew it was coming. We just didn't know how much smaller our paychecks would be until today, the first payday of the year for most tri-state workers. And for some people, it was a substantial cut. All right, I'm buying the white kisses. Marsha Muse was buying a little less at the lunch wagon truck this noontime. Like millions of American workers, she's just taken a pay cut. Thank you. Um, smaller than I was expecting. The end of the Social Security payroll tax break is already impacting workers here at the Clean Clothes Company, an Oakley laundromat and cleaners. It doesn't make you happy. I mean, you know, you try to budget everything out and then all of a sudden you've got less money. These employees are now opening paychecks 20 to $40 smaller than last year's. Employee Lisa McLean says her cut works out to an entire day of daycare. Um, it's more difficult for me to pay my child care for that. You know, like $35 equates to a day's worth of child care for my daughter um, where I, you know, take her. So it's, it's a substantial change. If you earn $30,000 a year, you'll take home $600 less this year. $50,000, $1,000 less. That comes to $80 a month. And that could hit restaurants, movie theaters, even lunch wagons like this one as workers try to figure out where to trim. Just don't know where yet. It'll probably be the grocery store because, I mean, you have to pay your bills. Yeah, many people are upset because they thought no one earning under $400,000 a year would see any tax increase. Technically, though, this is not a tax hike. It is an end to a temporary payroll tax holiday. But it still leaves lots of tri-staters saying, doesn't that stink? I'll be back in 15 minutes. Don't go away. I'll be back to tell you about a dog treat recall and the latest on a possible cheaper iPhone so you don't waste your money. Clive, Carol? All right. Thanks, John.